Hi, second graders. So I've attached this worksheet. It's subtracting with regrouping. And I thought I would do a couple of them with you. So I'm gonna put, you can pull this up on your screen and write it on a scratch paper. And I'm gonna write them on my marker board. I got a new marker board. So I feel like I'm in the classroom. So 428 minus 49. That's the, oops, that's the first problem I see. Now, <clears throat> where's, where do I begin? In the ones. Always say that to yourself, boys and girls. I start in the ones. Say it with me. I start in the ones. So ignore everything else and then just look in the ones and really ask yourself because I, before we got stuck at home here, a lot of people would go 8 minus 9 equals 1. 8 minus 9 equals 1. And your brain just wants to do that. Your brain sees a 9 and an 8 and you subtract. But if you'll take a moment, just take a pause, look at this, you cannot take 9 things away from eight things. It's not possible. When there's more on the floor, you've got to go next door. So when the top number is smaller, go over here and take one. These are the tens. Picture those little sticks back in the classroom. Picture those and bring that stick back over here. How much is it worth? It's called a 10. 10 and eight is 18. Now I've fixed myself up. I'm in a situation I can do this. 18 minus 9 is 9. 1 minus 4. Can't do it. So I've got to go over here to the hundreds. You have to picture it. This is four of those blocks, four of those squares. Take one, now the block is 10 tens. So bring it back to your tens area here. You've got one 10 and the 10 tens that you just borrowed from here. That's 10 and one, make 11. 11 minus four, seven. There's nothing to subtract here. So I just bring that number down. Or you could say it's like three minus zero. So the answer to number one is 379. I did notice that many of you are able to do this, but you don't show any of your work at the top. I can see that it's correct and it seems okay, but most teachers are gonna want you to show your work up top here. Just to make, um, you're letting the teacher know that you know how it works, you know how to do it. So I'll show you an example. I've seen some people do this. They, they write this problem, so I'll write this one. 428 minus 49. Okay. Um, I've seen some people just do it in their mind. I don't think that you're cheating, but they just go eight and they go, that's, uh, they might go like this, 18, and they go nine. And then in their mind, they know they borrowed one. So now that's 11 and they know they borrowed one here. That's three. I'm seeing stuff like this, but I'm asking you and I feel pretty confident that your next teacher will want you to show your work up here. If you can do all this business at the top, it tells the teacher that you understand what tens and hundreds are. Okay, so please show your work at the top. Write these on a scratch paper and send me a picture.